Years ago, when this Red Armor two-stroke mix oil first came out, I was at a technical update school seminar where the instructor actually said, if you have carbon buildup in your, in your two-stroke small engine, on top of the piston, and especially the spark arrestor screen. If that's getting plugged up with carbon, if you run one tank of Red Armor mix oil through that, it will clean the carbon out of your engine. Well, you guys know me. I don't take anybody's word for anything. I'm finally going to do this experiment. I've wanted to do this for so long. We are gonna check it out right now and see if it actually works with this steel BG55 blower. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon again. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, website's right there along the bottom of the screen as usual. Check my website out when you get a chance. I think you're gonna like it. Red Armor cleaning the carbon out of your unit. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna take the spark plug out on this BG55 uh, steel blower. They are prone to uh, carboning up in the engine, carboning up, especially in the spark arrestor screen. So let's pull the spark plug out and I'm going to use my little boroscope. If you guys don't have one of these little boroscopes, they are an incredible inspection tool. If you don't have one of these, I got a link right underneath this video so you can check this out. Click on that link and you'll see how inexpensive these are. I've got it hooked up to my laptop right now. Let's have a look at the top of that piston. You just gotta <clears throat> pull that piston right down to the bottom. Right there. All right, let's have a look. Check that out. That is pretty carboned up. That's all, the most of the piston is black right there. And there's some clean spots on there. You'll see some of those clean spots. So remember what that looks like. And uh, we're gonna see if that changes after we run a tank full of fuel through this. Okay, that's it for the boroscope. Now, let's pull I'm going to take this tube off, make it easier for me. Let's take the uh, spark arrestor screen out and have a look at the spark arrestor screen. Okay, now you if you see that right there, that that is, I'm going to say 95% plugged. You can barely see any light coming through that at all. That should not look like that. That is a 95% plugged spark arrestor screen with carbon. We're gonna put that back in there. Uh, we're gonna put the spark plug back in there, tube back on. We're gonna take it outside and we are going to run this for an entire tank full of Red Armor mixed fuel. If you're curious to know what uh, octane I'm using and everything, it's just 87 octane right from the pump station. It's not non-ethanol or anything like that. It's just exactly what you put in your car or your truck. That is a full tank. See how long that runs for. Let's go outside and check this out right now. Okay, that lasted for exactly 35 minutes. And uh, I did let it cool off as I edited that out. Um, so, ooh, spark plug's still kind of warm, but now we want to see the difference again. Come on, spark plug. Wasting time here. It is a little warm. <laughs> All right, let's have a look in there again with the old boroscope. All right, let's have a look. Huh. That is actually cleaner. You can see a lot more silver on there. Some of that, some of that carbon actually has came off. 
So that's pretty cool. That worked a little bit. Check the spark arrestor screen. And I'll leave that tube on now. Woo, that's so warm too. Let's see what the difference is. Huh, you know, I can still see, I can actually see more light now coming through that. Not a whole lot though. So that's one tank of fuel of red armor ran through that that took a little bit of carbon off of the uh, off the top of that piston and it's definitely better that spark arrestor screen is definitely better you know what i got to do now let's try one more tank full and see if this is all crap or not that took exactly 35 minutes again that's kind of weird, but uh, okay, here we go. So that's two tanks. It is actually empty, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, bone dry. That was a whole tank again. <clears throat> All right, we're doing the old boroscope trick again. And uh, we'll check that spark arrestor screen, see if it's any better. Uh, yeah, right at the bottom. Boroscope, back in. Let's have a look. Huh. Maybe a little bit better. It has definitely helped though, hasn't it? That is, that is a lot more silver on there. A lot of that carbon is actually gone off the top of that piston. Okay. We're learning something here. Spark rester screen coming out. I guess, I guess 10 minutes of letting it cool off is not enough. Ooh, that's warm. Ooh. Oh, look at the color difference on that. Holy cow, you know what? Look at that. That is crazy. That looks like a brand new screen now. You can see light right through that. There's absolutely no carbon at all on that spark arrestor screen. That actually blows me away. Um, I am really happy I did this experiment. Wanted to do this for a long time. So that is actually no BS. This red armor, it wasn't like they said, it wasn't one tank, but two tanks of that stuff right there. Actually cleaned a lot of the carbon off the top of the piston and actually cleaned that spark arrestor screen right to brand new again. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I thought that was quite informative. That was quite educational. Like I said before, I wanted to try that for years now to see if it actually worked. And it actually does work, not in one tank, but in two tanks. That made a huge difference. Subscribe to my channel. Give me that thumbs up button. You want to see something else right now? Click on that box right there next. You'll like that video too. Till the next time, guys and girls. As always, cheers. Steve out.